Aquas. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, I was going to do this from now until the 21st. My guides want me to do it for the rest of September. I don't know why, but I'm just listening. I'm just obeying, this, <laughs> essentially. Um, so for those of you who've seen the last two um, air sign videos, I've started to do the pre-shuffle like with you guys, which I'm really liking, okay? So for my newbies, I used to do a pre-shuffle and talk about, talk about my meditative session before I went ahead and did the reading. I'm going to be talking about my meditative session, but I'm going to be doing the pre-shuffle with you guys on camera, okay? So Aquas, your energy as I was tapping into it, I, I got to be honest, I was sensing anger. I was sensing anger and irritation, major anger and irritation. Uh, and I heard like, mon I heard monkey on my back, which was interesting. And then I, they started giving me a lot of references to salt, Hawaiian salt specifically, which is something I use. I actually use that. Um, but I think they were just referencing that. So I understand that there's something going on with you, Aqua, where there's a need to really cleanse some shit. Okay, there's a need to really cleanse some shit, uh, whatever kind of anger you're feeling or irritation you're feeling, it's relating to something you feel like you can't shake, whether it's just a wound a person or other okay it's something that you feel you can't get away from something you feel you can't cut away something that I, I feel like you honestly want to be rid of because you don't want to be feeling this anger and irritation all the time like I said it's like there's something that has to heal there if it's a wound for you if it's a person you just got to cleanse your energy and then just cut the cord okay but let's go ahead and get these cards ready and calibrated and then we'll go ahead and do the reading okay Please love messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it to come through for Aquarius, Someone Rising Venus, and Jupiter from now until the rest of September. Please love messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for Aquarius, Someone Rising Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of September. Sorry. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> God dang it. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what was that all of a sudden? Okay, okay, Aquas. I also get a lot of heart chakra energy. I'm going to be honest, guys. A lot of heart chakra energy. I think a lot of you are having to do some major, major um, healing here, okay? And that's never a bad thing. It's always a good thing. Please send messages of truth, healing, and love to come forward for Aquarius, someone raising Venus, and Jupiter. Messages for those who need it for Aquarius, someone raising Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of September. Mm. what is that animal it's an ox okay i'm seeing an ox oxes i'm like i feel like brute force and brute strength aquas this and you could be dealing with a taurus you know because it's like oxen are very taurian like they're very bull like right they're they're cousins essentially um but not necessarily you don't have to be dealing with a taurus but there's something about your energy aqua keep in mind energy that i pick up on intuitively it's energy that's coming from you directly or people or, or from people in your environment or from people you're energetically attached to so it can be vice versa but i'm just getting it's like there's been this energy of just keep pushing just keep pushing keep pushing and i gotta be honest aquas that doesn't feel like the best approach it feels exhausting it feels very inefficient whatever it is you've been trying to push or if someone's been trying to push you or just push a connection or a situation it's like a brute force stubborn i'm just going to keep doing this because i just am going to you know, it almost feels like there's no rhyme or reason to it. And that could be adding to your aggravation and irritation. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I just heard stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. Aquas, this is for some of you. This isn't for all of you. Some of you who are in like uh, connections. So it doesn't have to be romantic. It could also be family or friends or like with coworkers or what have you. Um, there's this energy of like one's very serious and one's too, too playful. Um, and it's really prohibiting any kind of progress. Pay attention to that. That needs addressing. And if you're, okay, yeah. And if you're angry, irritated by it, it's because it's a trigger relating to a wound. So you got to look at that, okay? Yeah, Aquas, this, this, <clears throat> this anger is really bothering me. I got to be honest. Oh boy, I've got a lot of cards that just came out here. Wow. All reversals too. The Hangman in Reverse, Piscean Energy. Five of Wands in Reverse, Leo Energy. And then we have Ten of Pentacles in Reverse with, is that the Nine? Yeah, the Nine. Ten of Pentacles in Reverse with the Nine of Wands in Reverse. Virgo and Sag right here. Oh, man. There's been a foundation that's been crumbling. Needing to. Whoa, needing to? Okay. Aquas, yeah, with this Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, I feel like it's about a foundation. They're showing me that ox again. Um, whatever this is, whether it's 
a foundation in just like family, like a family relationship, a business relationship, um, or a long-standing relationship, like romantic or friends or otherwise, whatever this is, it's a long-standing foundation, okay? And it's become very unstable, 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 excuse me, unstable. It's become very unstable. And I think you know that, and it's been bothering you, which is like this oxen energy of just like, just keep pushing, just keep pushing, just do it, just, just, just do it. It's like, Aquas, it's it's so interesting because I feel this energy of like not wanting to give in on something or not wanting to recognize something. I'm like, well, as long as I just keep pushing, it's fine. It's not fine though. It's not because with this realization, this is realizing that, okay, it, it's, it's not working to my benefit. It's not working to the benefit of the people involved in this foundation. And with five of wands in reverse, it's like, I'm exhausted. I'm tired, especially with the nine of wands in reverse on top of that. And it's not working. Stop pushing. Aqua, some of you feel like you're being pushed as well. And you don't like that. Some of you have been trying to force the push. Others, you've been you've been forced to be pushed into something. And Aquas don't ever like to be pushed. So Aquas, I feel like for most of you, it is vice versa in the sense that, you know, someone might be trying to push something along with you and you're just like, don't push me. Ooh, ooh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Don't push me. Ooh. Let's see what else we got here. Got another card out here. I can't see it yet. Yeah, don't push me. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, shit. Wow. Here we go. Seven of Swords. Aquarian energy with the Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Don't push me. Oh, all of a sudden I feel very... Almost feels like a stare down energy. Don't push me. Don't play with me. Don't try me. It's it feels oh it's all it's almost threatening because I feel like you are feeling threatened. Whoever's feeling pushed is feeling a little threatened here, and it's almost like oh you're gonna try that with me. Let me just push a little back. Let's you want to play this game? Let's play this game. That's kind of how this feels. That's how this feels. Um, there is an empress energy here though, whether Aqua it's you or someone else, but there's an empress energy here. Mm. I feel like this person's being very quiet. Aqua, whether this is you or again someone else, because it's all about people in your energy field as well, not just you. There's an empress here. Business. I just heard business. Business can be personal. <laughs> okay? So just know that. Business, unfinished business can be personal. It doesn't have to be romantic. Okay? It could just be like, you know, unfinished business for you. It's feeling like something unfinished business. But with the seven of swords and the ace of pentacles in reverse. <sighs> Whoever this empress is, Aqua, there's something this empress isn't saying. I feel very much an, an observant energy from this person. Oh, this is interesting. So Aqua, this could be you. And like I said, it could be someone else. Just take this as it resonates. Uh, whoever this empress is, they know they've been lied to. They know. They know, and it's almost like, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> I, I did my hair today. <laughs> and it's like, it's been doing really funky things lately. Sorry, not to be a girl, sorry. Um, this empress knows they've been lied to. It's almost like they hear a lie, they know it's a lie, but they're not saying it. And it's to their, they know it's to their advantage. That's interesting. They know it's to their advantage. It's like, oh, there's another lie. Oh, another lie and another lie and another lie. And it's, it's very, very strategic. It's almost like, I'll let them keep thinking. I don't know what they're up to. I'll keep letting them think that I think they're telling me the truth. It's like this this empress, now, an empress would do that. More of a high priestess would do that. I wouldn't be surprised if this person comes out as a high priestess in your reading. Um, but they know. They know someone's up to no good. They know someone's been lying to them. Uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, whoever this is, Aqua, like I said, whether it's you or someone else, reasons don't matter. Reasons behind lies don't matter. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this person's very strategic. Keep lying to me keep lying to me wow and on the bottom we have two of cups guys two of cups and magician in reverse underneath that yeah so there is a bit of a trickstery deceitful kind of energy going on between at least two people at the very least two people definitely soulmate energy here okay aqua i'm not loving this i gotta be honest <laughs> I am not loving this this energy, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. So let's see how this goes because I feel like this is quickly becoming a like a battle of wits. A battle of wits and will is what I just heard. Oh shit. A battle of wits and will. Okay. Aqua, who are you messing with? Who are you messing with? 
or I guess who's messing with you. All right, let's get into your reading, guys. For anybody who's new to tarot and new to my channel, please know these messages are very, very general, okay? These readings are very general. And as you heard me set the intention, messages come through for those who really need to hear them, okay? So if it's not your story, it's not your story, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Don't need to throw, throw any hate my way. Just go ahead and check out another reader, okay? Uh, also, like I said, we are working with energy. Some messages can be reversed or vice versa. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. Keep in mind, even though this reading is time stamped at for the rest of De Sept September, not December. December might be important for you guys. For the rest of September, it can apply um, whenever you are, you know, compelled to watch this, okay? Time is not linear. And right now, timelines are changing. So anyway, let's get into your reading, okay? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Oh, see, I've already like, I already went right into, <laughs> I went right into like, uh, you know, just like my mode here for the rest of September, please. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September? Mm, I just heard Starseed. Wow. And I am doing this on the full moon in Pisces, guys, which I don't really like to do readings during full moons and new moons, but specifically full moons. So we might get some really intense messages, okay? So just know that. But I did hear Star Seed. Mm. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September? Yeah, I feel, oh man, I really feel a, a strong energy of like, Oh, you want to battle us out? It's going to be a battle of wits and will, and it's like someone's gearing up. Gearing up and strategizing. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September? Someone's really underestimated here. Someone's being really underestimated. I actually feel like it's the Empress being underestimated, whoever the Empress is to you or if it's you any messages for aquarius oh six of pentacles oh yeah level playing field oh shit guys i'm like <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting reading taurian energy right there how are we doing on time okay we're good um yeah that's what i'm that yeah oh yeah that's what i'm getting with that evil evil whoa level playing field is what i meant to say and evil came out oh god oh god Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September? I just realized, I thought this was the Six of Pentacles. It's the Nine, but I was feeling that energy. So that happened for a reason. But Nine of Pentacles is also about being independent. Being independent and being very stable in one's own energy and one's own life and one's own abundance. Okay? Um, yeah, I don't... This, you know, Aqua, I gotta be honest. I almost feel like someone is acting like... I'm, I'm big, bad, and proud to be single, which is great, but I, I don't feel like it's real. I feel like it's part of the strategy of, like, battle of the wits and will. Okay, I'm just being honest. So, and like I said, someone's trying to level the playing field here, okay? Any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now until the rest of September? For the rest of September, please. nine of wands upright now we got two nines here okay so definitely something's about to close out this is getting closer and closer to the finish line one more step one more move oh, i just heard one more move one more move one more move someone's very guarded yeah i don't feel like this this like i'm big bad all by myself is is really a true energy whether someone's acting like this with you or you're trying to act like this with someone it almost feels like I'm going to go cold and badass on your energy or on you to make you think, you know, to make you think this, that, or the other. Yeah, it's definitely a battle of wits and will here. Definitely a battle of wits and will. It feels like a game, Aqua, and I don't like that energy. If someone's playing a game with you, you can't help it if someone's trying to do that with you. But Aqua, if any of you are playing a game with someone, just be very mindful. We're in Judgment Day energy, okay? So just be mindful of that if you're doing that. But if someone's doing that to you, that's what they're, that's what they're doing to you. But something's about to end. Something's getting very, very close to an ending here. This kind of energy can't go on for very long, especially with all this Judgment Day energy we're going, we're coming into, okay? Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September? Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love for the end of, for the rest of September? Okay, now what do we have here? 
Wow. Holy shit. Sorry. When I'm tired, I just like, oh, I just let it all loose. Uh, Nine of Swords, Knight of, excuse me, Knight. Jesus, Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the nine, right? That is a nine. Yeah, I'm not crazy. That's a nine. <laughs> nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Crap. Yeah, this is drama and fighting. Drama and fighting. You have three nines here, and the only other card out here is a court card, okay? And it's all about drama and fighting. There's anxiety. There's anxiousness here. Aqua, what, whoever started this, because someone started it, and the other person's like, all right, I'll play that game. Whoever started this, I feel like the per the initiator, the instigator, instigator, interesting. We'll just go with instigator then. Instigator knows that it's about to end. They know it's about to end, and they're kind of freaking out. It went too far. Thank you. Went too far. However this started, the instigator didn't expect it to kind of go this way or last this long. It's been a true battle of wits and will. And there will be an ending at some point. Overall energy though, wheel of fortune, Jupiter energy. I like seeing that. The wheel will the wheel will be pushed forward. I still can't believe you have three nines out here. I mean, my goodness, look at that. Three nines, three nines. But the wheel will turn forward. It will because it has to. It has to, especially with the energy that we're in right now for the rest of September. Um, and this kind of game can only be played for so long, okay? However, underneath that, I do see Ten of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy, underneath that, we have the Devil in reverse. Capricorn energy, underneath that, we've got the Moon. Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. And then we've got freaking Judgment, guys. We've got Judgment, okay? <clears throat> which is fire energy and also scorpionic energy. What did I say about Judgment Day? It's coming and full moon in Pisces is today. That full moon energy is going to be carried with us until the, you know, for a month cycle, right? But then on the 28th of September, we have the new moon in Libra bringing in justice and balance to this karmic energy as well. But the devil will be released because there's a lot of unhappiness here. And it is a 10, guys. Like I said, the 9 to the 10, there is going to be an ending to this whole situation. It's tumultuous. It's anxiety ridden. It's too much. It's too much and it's too toxic. It's way too toxic. For some of you, this is happening in your home with that Ten of Cups energy. Yeah, some of you it's happening within a home or just in a romantic relationship. Either way, it's affecting it's affecting more than just you and this person. It's like I feel like it's affecting a wider network here, but the wheel's gonna turn forward and this will be over at some point very soon. Wow. I know it's a little intense, Aqua. It's a little intense. Um, let's get into this energy. I'm curious about the nine of wands. We use Rider Wait to clarify that, and then we're gonna look at this drama, okay? <clears throat> Talk about the Nine of Wands. Talk about the Nine of Wands for Aquarius regarding love. That is not the Nine of Cups. Are you freaking kidding me? Nine of Cups. You have all four nines here all four nines you guys this is going this situation is coming to completion okay and happiness will be had because the wheels gotta turn. things have to move things can't be in this this battle of wits and will forever okay someone has to someone has to yield is what i just heard someone has to yield so, or just walk away i mean honestly guys it takes two to tango if someone wants to play a game with you you just walk the fuck away you don't gotta play no games with people sorry i'm like I guess i'm getting a little mama bear i'm also very much wrapped up in full of Pisces energy. So I have the Nine of Wands for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Oh, let's see what we got here. Wow. Yeah, what did I just say? Someone's got to walk away. Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and then Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy. This is someone basically just like, you know what? This is pointless. Three of Wands in a verse. What I want to happen is clearly not going to happen. Ace of Pentacles in a verse. I accept that this opportunity is gone. I accept this opportunity has been blown. Six of Wands. I'm walking away victoriously with my pride intact. A healthy pride. Pride is not exactly bad. It just depends on, you know, where it's really coming from and how much pride you're carrying with you. This is a very healthy pride. Walking away with dignity. Thank you. That's a better way to say that. Someone will walk away with dignity. Talking about the Nine of Wands. For Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Time about the Nine of Wands for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Someone is very stubborn. Sorry, I'm like, that's coming in so strong. 
Wow. Oh, oh my. Ace of Swords in reverse with judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Yeah, I'm walking away with my dignity intact because this is just a, a big fat cycle. This is a never ending rigmarole of battle of wits and will. And it's it does me no it does me no service. It does nothing for me is what I'm hearing. It does nothing for me. This is a waste of my oh this is a waste of my time. Waste of my time. Overall energy we do have ten of pentacles. Wow, Virgo energy. Knight of cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Some someone's taking their abundance and 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 leaving. That's exactly what this feels like. I'm walking away victoriously. And, and, and with my dignity intact, because this is not working for me. This is a battle with and will. There is no one who's going to win this completely victoriously. When you have when you have a game like that going on, guys, there's no true winner. People lose out. They lose time. They lose love. They lose patience. There's always a loss on either end. Someone's realizing that and they're like, I'm taking my love and I'm taking my abundance and stability. And I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. Um, for some, you might even be offering this to someone else, whoever is going to be leaving. It's not clear who the lever is going to be because it's going to be different for everybody who's resonating with this, okay? Can't tell if it's the instigator or the person who got pulled into this game. Underneath that, though, we have the Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. Ooh, two of cups. Cancerian energy. Soulmate energy. And the star. Oh, oh my. Aquarian energy. So some of you might... I really don't feel that though. For some. Okay, thank you. For some. Uh for some of you, this leaving um is coming as a result of doing some meditative uh meditative work here and thinking and getting enlightened on what the best uh move is in this situation. Because someone's getting tired of the chess moves. Someone's getting tired of having to battle with wits and will. Someone's just getting tired of the game. Because it, it's exhausting. It's quite literally exhausting. Um, and someone's realizing, you know what, <laughs> this, I clearly need to leave because this is not the connection I wanted. This is not the connection I wished for. This is not the connection that's going to bring me happiness and light with that star energy. Someone's realizing that and like realizing if that's the kind of connection I want, I, I have to go and get it. I have to go elsewhere because it's clearly not this, a connection that would be of divinity or connection that would be of like just happiness and healing and love and light would not be in a battle of wits and will like this that's too much ego going on and someone's realizing this isn't the connection i wanted this isn't the connection i asked for so i'm gonna go leave and go get it okay and for some of you that is someone that you already know it doesn't have to be though it doesn't have to be uh for a few of you will you be healing the situation with this person it's very much possible it's very much possible that you can Okay, but most of you, I feel like, are realizing that the connection you've always wanted is not here. Okay, very much realizing that. Wow. Okay, let's look at this drama. Let's look at the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, I'll go with Gilded. I'll go with Gilded on this one, and then I'll pull some advice. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Knight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Knight of Knight of Swords in reverse for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Okay. Knight of Knight of Swords in reverse for Aquarius regarding love see here wow queen of wands in reverse aries energy could also be fire or water with the high priestess piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader what was i saying about that rage about that anger and that irritation yeah because someone knows okay because someone's intuition is basically telling them oh this is now a game. Oh, you want to keep lying to me? Keep lying to me. Keep lying to me. I know that it's like, it's this inner knowing of they're lying. They're lying. I'm not going to let them know they're lying. I'm not going to let them know that I know they're lying to me. Like that's how that feels. I'm also getting secrets with this, like major secrets. So we're going to look into that a little bit more. But let's see what other cards want to come out here. Tell me about Knight of Swords in reverse. That's a horrible feeling too. It's like knowing that someone you care about is lying to you. 
And then we, wow, then we have the star Aquarian energy and the two of wands in reverse, which is Aries energy. A decision will be made here. And Aqua, like I said, you might be making the decision because we do have the star card out here. That is your card. A decision to heal. A decision to choose a path that has healing at the end of it. What did I say? For a lot of you, it's like, I have to leave this connection <laughs> because clearly this is not the connection I asked for. And for some of you, like I said, this is what you want to seek out. So you're just going to go and start manifesting this or trying to seek it out or find it. Others of you actually have someone in your vicinity that you already know you have this connection with that's not with this person, okay? Um, others of you, very few of you, will choose a path of trying to heal with this person. But a game like this, guys, has so much ego attached and toxicity attached. That's going to be a very difficult task for those who want to go that route. I'm just the messenger. I'm just being honest. I'm not saying it's impossible some of you really do want that okay let's see what else we got here they're gonna look at those secrets talk about knight of swords in reverse talk about knight of swords in reverse talk about knight of swords in reverse for aquarius regarding love for the rest of september okay oh my ending with the page of cups apologies and sincerity and also walking away with, with, with love in the heart, right? So like I said, for some of you, you're walking away from this connection to go find the connection that you really do want or to manifest the connection you really do want. For some of you, like I said, you already know someone you have that connection with, so you'll be exploring that. And that's walking away with love in your heart to go and give that to go away, to give that to someone else. Um, others of you, like I said, you're going to be trying to work out with this person to heal this connection because you know it's worth it to you. Like I said, with this much toxicity and ego, though, it's going to be difficult, but then there will be apologies had, okay? However, however, overall energy, death, scorpionic energy here, death and transformation. Like I said, some of you are putting an ending to this drama because you just can't take it anymore it's exhausting it's exhausting and you're just like no just like no again i'm walking away with dignity i'm walking away with dignity walking away with abundance and love to go and give to someone else that i want to have that that amazing connection what connection why did that sound weird amazing connection with um and others like i said you're going to try to heal this situation with this person because you want it to change all right so decide what group you're in it will be a little different for everyone. Let's go ahead and pull some advice. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're good. We're really good. Okay. I have to go live on Patreon in, like, in not too long. So I just want to make, make sure I'm on schedule. But yeah, Aqua, this is a kind of an intense reading. You never get into a battle of the wits and will with someone. It really is fruitless. Unless, like, if you have to because of work, that's one thing. But in love, everyone loses in situations like that. Everyone does. Oh, I wanted to know those secrets. Hold on. Yeah. Let's look at the high priestess and then we'll pull some advice. My bad. I got all distracted. Okay. Oh, let's do spellcasters. Let's do spellcasters. Tell me about this high priestess energy. Tell me about the secrets here. Tell me about the secrets here that are hidden. <laughs> My guy just said for now. <laughs> yeah, these secrets are going to be coming out. Whatever's not being said, whatever some, you know, like... For example, the Empress energy of, I know you're lying to my ass. That's going to be let out. Any other secrets will also be revealed. Talking about the High Priestess for Aquarius for the rest of September. Talking about the High Priestess for Aquarius for the rest of September. Getting Queen of Cups energy. Talking about the High Priestess. Time at the High Priestess for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Ooh, okay. Four of Swords. There's a break energy here, Libra energy. Like, ooh, a moment of silence. Just for a moment of silence. If any of you lost somebody, that is, that's why that's coming out. And my condolences if you did lose somebody. But I am getting like a moment of silence. A moment of silence and clarity. Ooh, oh, I got the chills on that one. Someone feels their energy pulling away. That's that's the person who's leaving with dignity. The person who's angry and irritated uh, knows that there is the other person leaving with dignity or they're about to. They can feel it. They can feel it. Others, it's just really representing that there is some kind of break or moment of silence between the two of you during this battle of wits and will. See what else we have here. Tell me over the high priestess. Tell 
Tell me more about the High Priestess. Just heard someone's learning. Someone's learning. Someone's learning. Someone's learning. Okay. Tell me more about the High Priestess for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Tell me more about these secrets. Tell me more about these secrets for Aquarius regarding love for the rest of September. There's that five of swords. See, we got another card out here too. Wow. Wow. Lovers, Gemini energy with the five of swords, Aquarian energy, Venus and Aquarius to be specific. Yeah, someone's realizing that this connection has been defeated and that there is a lot of egotistical mind game bullshit going on here. Okay, and this person's angry because for some they're just realizing that and realizing, wow, this is not the connection that I wanted. That's and and feeling that that person leaving with dignity. Okay, that's definitely for some of you. Others, where you want to heal this, you're realizing how defeat defeating this connection has become. And I want to heal this, but is it possible? Is it possible? Overall energy, seven of swords in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse underneath that. Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. Five of Wands underneath that. Leo energy. And then we've got that Knight of Swords. Gemini energy. <laughs> Could also be air or fire. This is a lot of drama, guys. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of fighting. A loss of passion as well. Yeah, this game got out of control. This game got out of control. Whoever instigated this thought that, like, it was going to work in their favor. I feel like this is a, um, a typical tactic this person likes to use in relationships. And they didn't realize who they were playing with. They didn't realize how strong the other person was in their will and wit, I guess. Um, but that's what this is. There's been a major loss of passion here, a major defeat of a connection because someone wanted to fuck around and play games. Sorry, I like, it's really unfortunate. Like, it's really unfortunate when this happens. It's too much. We even have five of cups underneath that. Then the moon in reverse underneath that. Wow. And then we've got the knight of wands underneath that. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Moon in reverse revealing this energy. <sighs> revealing this energy. Someone feels at a major loss because they might be realizing that during this battle of wits and will and very much like staring each other down, who's going to get who first? Someone might have been playing the field with this knight of wands energy. Yeah, someone could have been playing the field. Not necessarily. That's only going to be for a couple of you. But either way, most of you... Or for most of you, this person, whoever you are in the situation, will be leaving this connection because it is too toxic. It's too low vibrational. There's a lot of ego here, a lot of anger, a lot of resentment. And someone wants to leave with their dignity intact to go to their connection that is really in their highest good, really for their betterment, really for um, just nourishing their own their soul a little bit more, you know? Um, but some of you, like I said, will try to work it out with this person. But like, God, this is a lot of toxicity, guys a lot but either way there will be a change things have to move things have to progress and this battle will be over whether someone just walks away or someone just says look let's just stop these games and let's just heal this okay it's gonna be different for everybody all right let's go ahead and pull some advice any advice for my aquarians any advice for my aquarians regarding this spread any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Ooh. I feel like I just heard one of you say, how can there be love here if you can't nourish me? How can there be love here if you can't really show you actually give a shit? Ow. Ow. Okay. Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? How am I doing? Oh, I'm good. Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Wow, very quiet on the advice today. Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? 
Oh, we got a peeker. Wow. Grasshopper spirit. Take the leap of faith. Do what feels right is what I just heard. Energy of 30 breaking down to a three. I just heard spirit has your back too. Okay. So Aquas, whether you're the person who's leaving with dignity or you're the one getting left, either way, there's this energy of do what you feel is best. Do what you feel is right. Do what you know, do what you know is right. Oh man, I'm feeling some sadness now. Do what you, oh, I'm feeling that five of cups energy that I saw. Do what you know is right. Whether it is taking that leap of faith to leave or taking that leap of faith to try to heal this. But I do feel heavy, heavy sadness and loss there behind that. <sighs> but yeah, guys, do what you know is right for you. Wow. Turkey spirit, give with grace and gratitude. 61, break it down to a seven. Being on your path, heading in the right direction on your path with or without this person. Okay, and leaving with dignity. This is a card of dignity, grace, composure, tact. Um, I'm actually feeling that empress energy too. I think a lot of that empress energy. Time to leave with dignity. For a lot of you, it's time to leave with dignity. Okay. Any other advice? Oh, wow. Any other advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Got another card out here. Any other advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Okay. So we have... Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. 57 breaking down to a three. You got two threes here so far, and you'll do it. Two other cards out here as well. Yeah, guys, it's very clear. Have the confidence to go for to go for about the situation in the way that you know is best for you to keep your dignity, keep your self-respect, to not get trapped in low vibrational egotistical mind games. Whether you want to work it out with this person or you, you're ready to leave, most of you it's ready to leave. I gotta be honest, most of you is ready to leave and having the confidence that you're making the right decision for yourself, no matter how hard that decision is. And then we have, wow. Wow. Synchronicity is everywhere for you guys with the four nines. And now we actually have three sevens. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. 34, breaking down to a seven. And pig spirit, use your mind wisely. 47, breaking down to an 11. Use your intuition here. You already know. You already know that now's the time to end this game. And this, and this battle of wit and will, um, whether you're going to heal with this person or just choose to leave with dignity, okay? Whatever your decision is, I don't know your lives on a personal level. You know your lives best. You know yourself best. You know your relationships better than I do for yourself, okay? You know what's best for you. You already, they're telling me you already know. You already know. And Hummingbird is acting now. Acting now. Make the choice now. Overall is that third seven. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. 25, breaking down to a seven. And I just heard loyalty. Loyalty. Learn from the past. Learn what, learn, okay, look back in your past, actually. Look beyond just this relationship and just this situation. What have you learned about loyalty? What have you learned about love? And before you met this person, before you met this person, what did you know about loyalty and love? What had you learned? And how much have you learned in this current situation from that point? Like, look at both of those milestones, okay? Look at both of those milestones because you are you are a lot wiser for dealing with this person. I think you had to deal with this person for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Um, but it's basically spirits nagging at you like, hey, you already know what to do, even if you don't really want to do it. Even if you kind of are just like, yeah, this is a game and I don't want to play the game, but I also don't really want to start making like, you know, serious decisions of either forever changing the situation by leaving or forcing healing of some kind. It's like some of you are definitely a little apprehensive of going there, but you're so tired. You're so tired that it's just like, I just can't anymore. You already have learned what to do in the situation. And then once you deal with it, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel a lot better and your intuition is already telling you to do something about it right now. Okay. And you have to have the confidence and belief and faith in yourself that you will be making the right decision to either leave with your dignity intact or to go about this in a high vibe way and be like, look, I'm not doing this game because that's not the connection I want, right? Aquas, I wish you luck in this situation. I don't envy you. This is a lot of emotion here and a lot of, um, again, mind games, and I hate mind games, but I know you guys will make the best decision for you, okay? All right, Aquas, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, okay? Have a great night, Aquas. Namaste.